Hello everyone on YouTube, I hope you guys are doing great. I finished a, a project, about to start another one. This is the Boker MA2 knife that I re really like. I uh, decided to make my own out of uh, 3V, 3V is a better steel. Um, so, the sheath I'm not 100% happy with, but I think it's okay. Uh, the power cord and the necklace and how I incorporated the uh, neck knife with the, with the necklace, I thought was really cool and worth making a video about, uh, just to give ideas out there, put ideas out there for, uh, for the knife and power cord uh, community. So let me see if I could zoom in a little bit so you can see what I did. I'll put a link below to, I guess I go up here, I'll put a link below to the, how to make this, um, this, uh, this weave. Uh, what I've done is, here's the uh, an example of the boker that I made, and um, it's very simple overlap sheath. Uh, this one I put two clips. One will be for the uh, for the necklace, tie around the neck, and I'll put a belt clip behind it on the other side, having and then probably with a Chicago screw so you can remove the belt clip if you've got it around your neck because the belt clip might be might get in the way, might be. Un as far as the necklace may not work too well. Um, not too happy with the sheath because it's not a very easy, quick deploy. So I'll need to modify that. Uh, the, uh, the original life, the Boker MA2, comes with a really nice, slimline uh, sheath. Um, just wanted to say that that's a great sheath. Um, a little more complicated uh, to make. This was a very easy design. That's what I went with first, and I can come up with multiple um, sheath carry options. Uh, this is a good one. It's a cure one. It's around your neck, so you don't want it to fall out at all. But then deploying it is is a little trickier. You got to use two hands. You've got to separate and pull it out. You use two hands. So I've got some ideas, and probably make an updated video when I show you the other sheath options. Be kind of cool to make a, a knife in multiple sheaths provide the uh, the user different options, right? Okay, so, for you guys who like to do power cords, um, what I've got here is six feet of, of um, ACU camo um, power cord and then six feet of black. And I've got two beads. And this weave uses up the, uses up this uh, ACU camo power cord much quicker than the black, so you have all this black left over for the uh, the necklace. Um, it's woven right through the um, the rivet, and at the end over here, I put a drop of crazy glue. Maybe not the best option to use crazy glue, maybe something that was water, what is water solvent uh, better, in case you needed to unravel this, uh, and then you've got uh, 12 feet of power cord. To terminate the ACU camo, um, I fed it through the skull heads, again a drop of crazy glue, let the power cord feed through the, the hole of the skull head, and, uh, and then I just kind of, you know, undid the, uh, the nylon stitching to create this kind of hair, if you will, the camera zooms in, hair for the, uh, for the skulls, and you know, it's, it's not done. I've got two different, two different styles. Can cut it shorter, or whatever. I just thought it was a nice way to terminate the, uh, the power cord without those burnt cinch marks. All right, and then the cool part is the how the, the power cord necklace works, and this is going to be difficult with uh, one hand, so I may have to do this video in two parts. Okay, so with the leftover black. Which camera zoom in? Okay, with the leftover black, which comes up and down. I don't see, think there's enough contrast here to show. Let's try that again. Okay, with the sorry guys, I'm trying to find a good light source. Okay, so with the leftover black, which comes to the left and to the right of this last uh, weave, this last knot, if you will, 
it extends out another six feet, another three feet or so. So what I did was I wove it back through the opening. See, there's an opening there, there's an opening there, or there's an opening over here. So I weave it through there. And all I do is melt the ends of the power cord until you get those round ball drops at the end. And that, that's kind of my locking mechanism. So it's a, it's a tight fit here, and you have to have a snug fit. Right now I'm pulling on, on those, on the ends of the black, right? And you can see it, it requires a little bit of effort to slide it through. And that's a good thing, so it doesn't come off. So this can actually be cinched around your neck. This could be cinched around your neck uh, to fit, you know, over your head and tighten it up, almost like a necktie. Uh, yet, if it gets caught anywhere, this will slide through. These ends will slide through the power cord. These ends will slide through the power cord, so you're not going to strangle yourself on, on this uh, necklace. So this whole thing quickly deploys, undoes itself, whatever, uh, through the... Um, the hole in there, so nothing is fixed, nothing is locked in, nothing is knotted, and it's snug enough so you can cinch it and carry it. If it's not snug enough, then what you have to do is you have to go back to this knot here and tighten it. I can't anymore because I put the crazy glue, but um, if you do it right the first time, then putting weaving these in, feeding these through the hole is, is, is difficult, so if you have a hard time weaving it through the, the gaps there, these holes, if you have a hard time doing it, then then you've done it right. And I guess if if for some reason this very one, if I can't un, you know, dissolve the the crazy glue, if this one does get you know too loose, I could always feed it through this hole, and then again through this hole, again through this hole, and then it will definitely be tight. So this will go down through the hole, back down through the back. Okay, so the next shot, I will try to prop up this camera and show you what it looks like on. Again, I use six feet of black, six feet of the ACU digital camo. And this part here, from here all the way down to the, to the skulls, is eight inches, which is too long. So you can probably do with four feet, five feet, okay, to get four or five inches um, of this part here. Because this, this is rather long. I was having fun doing the, <laughs> I was having fun weaving it. it was, this is my second paracord. Uh, that I've ever made. I was having fun doing it, and I just kept going because I had, I had extra power cord. Um, just enjoying it, just having fun. All right, guys.